Welcome to Optics, the dynamic photo editing and image manipulation plugin from Boris FX. In this quick start video, we'll cover the basics of launching the Optics interface, applying filters and masks, and we'll also explore the new particle illusion category to turn this image into something a bit more fun. To start, I'll mention that if you'd like to follow along with this exact image, you can download it free at unsplash.com. You can find the link in our video description. Optics can be launched from within Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom Classic and also comes with a standalone application. Starting with Photoshop, let's convert this layer to a smart layer. Now we go to the filter menu and apply Optics 2022. If using Lightroom Classic, apply Optics by going to the Photo menu and choosing Edit in Optics 2022. We recommend choosing Edit a Copy. And if you do not use Adobe software, the Optics standalone application can be launched from your program location and then go to File, Open to load your image. Running Optics is exactly the same no matter where you launch from. Starting with the interface, in the bottom of your screen, we have filters. Optics comes with over 170 filters that are divided into nine categories. Simply scroll across any of the tabs and select a filter to apply it. When you apply a filter, it activates three areas in Optics. The Layers window is found here. If you select a new filter, the layer will update. And here you can find standard transfer modes and opacity to blend the effect on top of the original image. We'll cover masking soon. On the bottom left, we have the Presets window. Optics comes with a massive collection of creative presets that are designed to give you great looks and effects quickly. So this window will be your friend. You can star your favorite presets and they will show up here and here. You'll also find that some presets have subcategories to help you find what you are looking for. For example, under Film Lab, the Film Stocks filter has useful subcategories to find historical film stocks, color processes, and more. The Light filter has subcategories for gobo patterns like windows, doors, and so much more. You can also use the search window to find the filters or preset you are looking for. Once a filter is applied, the parameter window is where you dial the effect to your liking. Everything is editable in Optics and many effects have useful overlay tools. And everything in Optics is procedural and always live to make changes. So you can combine and edit unlimited layers. We'll start with a color effect and then add a second layer here. And then apply another effect. You can double click the layer to edit that effect. And you can view a layer while editing any effect in the stack. Use the edit button and the parameters will be displayed. Once we apply a filter, we can also isolate the effect in a number of ways. Let's reset optics, which is now found in the lower right corner. We'll go to the color tab and apply the color correction filter. Let's use the three-way color controls to lower the brightness here in the shadows. Now I can add a mask to isolate the effect. Here you can find linear or spotlight gradients with useful overlay tools to position your mask. You can create spline-based masks, and masks can be combined on every layer. In this case, I want to darken just the background, so I'll apply the Easy Mask tool and roughly paint the foreground object in green. Then we'll select the Background Paint tool, or right-click, and paint the background red. Click the Generate Mask icon or keyboard shortcut Enter and Optics will calculate an accurate mask. We can select the mask icon to view our mask or toggle the M shortcut key. 
We can also toggle the overlays on and off by selecting the new overlay icon or shortcut key zero. Let's paint a few more strokes. Then reprocess. We can also invert and blur our mask over here. Now our color correction is isolated to just the background. If you'd like to learn more about the Easy Mask tool, we do have multiple tutorials that cover the tool in more depth in the Optics video section on the Boris Effects website. Moving on, let's have some fun by exploring the new Particle Illusion Filter tab. Here you can find literally thousands of particle emitter presets and everything from fireworks to smoky explosions and graphic elements. There are also useful environmental effects. So let's look at the snow category. Particle illusion effects are not just an overlay. In the parameter window, we can scale and position or even change the speed, number, and weight of the particles. Let's position this snow here. We'll play with some of the parameters and then drag our mask from one layer to the next and apply the snow behind the hands. Let's add another layer. And now I'll add this snowball preset to suggest some icy movement. And again, we can adjust our parameters dynamically to our liking. Notice the weight parameter acts as gravity. We are really just scratching the surface on particle effects. Particle Illusion has advanced features like fluid dynamics and deflectors that can be accessed by launching the custom interface. You can also find an excellent free training series dedicated to Particle Illusion on our website. For now, let's finish up our shot. So we'll add a new layer and go to the Film Lab tab and apply Film Stocks. Here under Movie Looks, you'll find color grades based on famous Hollywood films. I'll choose this Harry Potter preset, then play with the transfer modes and opacity until I find something I like. Here we can A, B between the original and our selected layer. Or we can use the split screen to compare. If we are happy with this image and would like to save the optics project to apply to other clips, go to the file menu and save the setup to disk. If running optics in Photoshop or Lightroom, select Apply to Exit, and there you go. If we applied optics to a smart object, we can always go back and make changes. For Lightroom, we advise you to save your setup so you can always reload it to make changes. And in the standalone app, go to File to save out your image as a PNG, JPEG, or TIFF. Note, you can save the image as a TIFF with the option to save the optics project embedded in the file. Thanks for watching the video, and again, we are just scratching the surface of what can be done with optics for image editing, photo manipulations, and even asset generation with the new particle illusion category. To learn more, please visit us at borisfx.com where you'll find more optics training videos, documentation, and user forums.